Richard had been diagnosed with ALS, which um, you know had really knocked us for six, and um, it had made the whole year really about processing this difficult situation, you know, with a disease that's very, you know, that affects everything about your life. And then out of the blue comes a novel that's also about a disease that really challenges everything that your existence is based on. It felt very, very close to home. But as soon as we started reading the novel, we found so many similarities between Richard's experience and Alice's experience in the novel. Even though the diseases are very, very different, the, the need to hang on to yourself in the face of such a, a grueling disease became you know, the main theme for us of the book. And by the time we finished, we knew emotionally, like, we absolutely have to do this movie. This is exactly what we have to make. Well, I had actually read the book um, before I even knew that they were making it into a movie. And I, I, um, I inquired about the, you know, if they were making it into a, into a film. And they said, actually, yes, they are at the moment. And we were set up on a meeting and um, it, ca it happened very organically. Yeah, there was no need for an audition. Um, we were so excited when we heard that Kate was interested in being in the film. And we met up and just clicked straight away. We're very much on the same page mm -hmm. about how, you know, the film should be, the tone of the film. Yeah. And when you've cast a movie right, directing is the best job in the world. I think when you cast a movie wrong, <laughs> directing is the worst <laughs> job in the world. But on this occasion, just everything clicked. The whole family clicked. Everyone, um, yeah. Alec and Julie, really just had an amazing chemistry. Um, Kristen and, mm -hmm. and Kate and Hunter, it all just came together beautifully so we were we were very lucky you know this story is one that I think c touches a lot of people for different reasons you know my my grandmother has um, dementia and it's it's all hands on deck you know and uh, though she's 92 it's it still packs a punch to have you know a human being losing themselves as, as you so well put it and and trying to just love them through that experience and try and um, diminish the fear as much as possible. Um, my, one of my best friends, her father had an early onset Alzheimer's and I watched her go through that with her father and she hasn't been tested for the gene. Um, she's an only child, so she she's chose what Kristen's character mm -hmm. chooses to do. Um, you know, it's, it's it's a it's a really horrible sad disease and and one that um, affects so many people and I think you know you can relate to it in one way or another and um, you know Julie did such a magnificent job <laughs> with yeah. with Alice I mean just watching her transform into this character and lose herself in this in this way was just so moving and beautiful and poetic and subtle and all the things that you you know you know Julie and more for but to be able to watch her do that in front of you. Like, I remember I dropped my line a couple of times because I was so engrossed in how absolutely brilliant she was. I just, she's, you know, mesmerizing. And so it's just, you know, it's a real um, honor for me to work with the, the, you know, filmmakers and the cast and the crew and, and bring the story to light that I think will affect so many people deeply. Yeah, we um, shot it earlier this year in March in New York and uh, this winter was one of the worst winters New York had had for, you know, a generation. And so all the time in pre-production, New York was snowed under and we'd be visiting locations like a beach house that was covered in snow. <laughs> and we'd be looking at the long range weather forecast going, we've got three weeks for this snow to melt and the sun to come out. And believe it or not, the sun did come out for two days in March and there were the days that we were on the beach. So something was happening right. Um, but yeah, we shot it in New York in March and um, went straight into editing and we only finished the movie two weeks ago so you know we've been racing for toronto this was our final goal